if you can remember this papa meme that it was like this i smelled my ash i literally smelled my ash now what happened to the prodigal son now they held a big feast for him when he came back this is not what happened to kelvin in home alone do you get like this is not what happened <laughs> Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Nimi Diamond, aka Big News. How are you doing? I hope you're holding up well. For those of you on my channel for the first time, I post content on lifestyle, relationship. I also post educative and fun vlogs. So you can go to my playlist and binge watch. Also, don't forget to subscribe and put on notifications for my videos. You don't want to miss out, trust me. Guys, this is one of the happiest days in my life. So I'll be sharing a short story with you guys of how I ran away from home. Yeah, I ran away from home. So this is one of the stories you just remember and you'll be like, eh, I did that. <laughs> it's crazy and funny. So this happened about 14 years ago. If you know African homes, you know that there are some chores that are delegated to you. Yeah, but in our own house, it wasn't. You just have to use your initiative. like. Immediately you see these chores is lagging, you just have to do them immediately. Even though there are some that you know that this is for me, it's not for anyone else. But it was not directly delegated to you, if you get my point. I'm the third child of four kids. And my younger sister that then was just three years old. So it was just me and my older siblings doing the job. And guess what? My elder siblings were always busy. My immediate elder sister was already into sports as at the age of 13 or so she was playing games with the state government yeah and my elder brother was in charge of the table tennis game we had outside our home it was monetized so we were cashing out on a regular so the chores were left to me i was doing everything if i try to remember now is there something i was not doing then i was fetching water i was washing plates clothes arranging the house and i still had to like get things for them if they send me on errand i have to deliver and sometimes i had to prepare food for my younger sister just the normal simple food now indomie and all i was literally doing everything everything so there was a period of time that i just resumed secondary school like that particular year i just resumed secondary school so i had a lot to settle into and i also had a lot to do at home like then that particular day my elder siblings were both at home and i was very tired i was expecting them to at least relieve me of some of the things i was doing but my brother was busy outside and my sister was inside i can't really remember what she was doing but she was inside so she came to me and told me that this particular thing why have you not done it and i don't know i just flared up uh, why would I do it? To be at home. This one, that one. Do it for yourself now. Blah, 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 blah. The next thing, she threatened to report me to my elder brother. I didn't believe her. And even if she was going to report me to my elder brother, I felt my elder brother dotes on me so much. So it was not going to do anything to me. It was just going to correct me and tell me to go and do it. Now, complain to him that, Brother Daniel, I cannot do it. <laughs> Silly me. He came inside and he dealt with me. <laughs> he flogged me mercilessly. And at that point, I was like, what is happening? Like, my brother likes me than to just beat me like that. <laughs> if you can remember this purple meme, that it was like this. That was how I sat on the bed. And I started remembering Nollywood movies, Hollywood movies that I've watched. <laughs> from the movies I've watched, I know that like when some of them run away from home, they'll meet people that will celebrate them, nurture them, and all. And some of them, by the time they get back home, they will get treated like a princess. Like, ah, where have you been? No, go, we don't run away next time. I love you. I'll do everything for me. Too. <laughs> I started fantasizing about it. That. What if I, like, what if I run away and 
I'm sure by the time I get back, they will treat me like a prodigal son, like hold a large feast and celebrate me. You get all that kind of stuff now. <laughs> um, uh, just wait. Immediately, I started thinking about stuff like that. Different ideas started coming to my head. I started planning out routes I'll pass out of the streets, out of the community, and no one is going to see me. My other sister was looking at me as far what's going on in this girl's mind. And mind you, my parents were not at home. They went about their daily business. They went for their 95 jobs. So I don't think that's what they should be bothered about. I'm sure they won't be thinking one of their kids would decide to run away that day. So immediately I started thinking about those thoughts. And my sister was not apologizing. So I'm just being mean. And the next thing, I just brought in dried clothes, so I just went to the dried clothes. If, instead of folding them, I just picked. I didn't even know the ones I was picking. I just jam-packed everything inside a bag, carried the bag. I think that was the point my stand knew that, okay, this guy is going crazy. But was I not? I took my bag, I left to the end of the door, and I went to the next street. Like, at that point, that was when I started thinking again that, okay, where am I going to? who do i know like who is going to take me in who is going to put up with me i don't even know anywhere in Ibadan then so i was just thinking about my life that's where the papa meme comes again i sat down in front of someone's house and i did like this was thinking about my life i was not sure what was going on back home and i was thinking is my sister actually going to tell my brother about this the next thing i looked up and i saw my sister my other brother and his friend coming towards me I was like, these people, I'll show them today. I'll show them that I can stand on my words. Like, is it not me? So they came close. My brother started begging me. He begged me. He really begged me. Even my sister that was acting mean begged me. His friend begged me too. And I started feeling myself again. Like, is that not it? Are you guys not supposed to be treating me like this on a normal day? <laughs> Are you guys not supposed to be treating me like this on a normal day? He promised me heaven and he said he's going to buy me this, he's going to buy me that, blah, blah, blah. Even his friend was promising me stuff. I was like, okay, since they begged, that's what I've been asking for now. Let me give them. He carried my bag for me and he took me back inside. Inside my mind, I was like, he's going to buy me stuff now, blah, blah, blah. Then, guys, guess what? Just guess. It was another round of it. <laughs> I smelled my ash. I literally smelled my ash. Like the beauty was too much. It, it, I was complaining about the first one now. The second one. Nah, not I was I felt betrayed. Like this is not what happened to the prodigal son now. They held a big feast for him when he came back. This is not what happened to Kelvin in Home Alone. Do you get? Like, this is not what happened. You guys deceived me upon all the promises. My sister just said, sat back and was looking at me like, you think you're smart, Abby? You think you're smart? I was crying. I was crying because the beatings was too much. And for it was even more embarrassing because his friends that were outside knew what was going on inside. They kept quiet and they were listening to the beatings that I was receiving. Imagine. Imagine, and immediately he was done with beating me, he locked the door from outside. And my sister left too, like they all went outside, then they locked me inside. Guys, at that point, it was factory reset, or whatever they call it, it was factory reset. Every running away from home stuff I was fantasizing about disappeared from my head. I said I actually ran away from home, but it was for five minutes because. I was given reasons not to think about running away from home again. <laughs> I think the funniest thing about this story is that they didn't tell our parents when they got back home. Like, we all acted normal. I was forced to act normal because um, uh, I don't want anything to stop now. But I just remember that, like, three, four days after that, my mom woke me up in the midnight. She woke me up in the midnight. <laughs> and... I received, like, I received confirmed beating, but she didn't tell me what I did. My, I think my siblings said were oblivious to the fact that 
she flogged me in the midnight. So I just felt maybe one of the things I do because I was very stubborn back then. I felt that was maybe one of the things I did. Maybe one of the stuffs I said during the day. So it was much later when I was in Andre level, was it 200 level, and I was just still with my mom. That was when she told me that it was one busybody that was selling stuffs in front of her house then that told her that I tried to run away from home. So she could not ask me or my siblings because she doesn't want my dad to know. That's why she flogged me. In the midnight. In the midnight, guys. <laughs> so now that I'm older, even when I think about running away from things happening and life generally, where am I running to? Like, where exactly am I running to? And I feel this is the moral lesson. Be watchful of what you let into your mind. Like, you have to really be watchful. So life will flog you as I was flogged. The reason was first to part three. Imagine my dad Ed. <laughs> Just imagine my dad Ed. Guys, be watchful of what you let into your mind. Be watchful of what you feed your mind. Be watchful of what you think about. So it won't affect your action because we all know that we are a product of our mind. So guys, if you are wondering where my elder siblings are right now, they both own a YouTube channel. My brother talks about spirituality and edifying content generally. And my sister is a fitness instructor. She, her content deals with fitness and lifestyle. So their links will be in the description box. Please make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel and relate with their content. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my story because I enjoyed it. <laughs> so if you did, let me know in the comment section and make sure you share with your friends. Also, put on a notification and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, it's your girl, Nimi Diamond. <laughs>